Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have designed the login authentication. So login form we have designed and we are ready to send the request from the login to the backend server so that if the login email address and the password is valid means so we need to make it logged in. So in order to make it the logged in, what we need to do? So we need to write it in the component. So sir, that means we need to write here in the login submit, we need to call the auth service or login service whatever the service we have created we need to call the auth service so that the auth service will make an http call to the backend server and it will give you the success okay so but right now we are main we are doing the njrx state management right so now here what we need to make maintain is so we need to maintain the components clean as 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 possible we need to make the components clean so how we can make the components clean so uh, for making this asynchronous calls so external calls and all those things so doing the components here and updating the state management will not be a good idea and also it is also a bad practice so then what we need to do is we need to follow another new library that is nothing but the ngrx fx library what is this ngrx fx library so here ngrx fx library what it will try to do is this library manages the side effects to keep the components clean so like this library what it will do is it will try to manage all the side effects to keep the components clean. What is this side effects? Side effects means nothing but what we can say is calling to external states like API. So external calling to external states some uh, accessing some data from external sources that is nothing but the HTTP these are all the things devices these are all the things you will be calling it as com, uh, external side effects. These are all called as a side effects. So using HTTP to get data from backend servers is nothing but a side effect. So that means we are using the HTTP service to get the data from backend service is nothing but a side effect. So this is a side effect. This is nothing, no way concerned to do with the component or the logic. So the data coming from the backend service, we need to wait for the data to get back. This is nothing but the side effect. And having this logic in the components, we can manage this code in, uh, uh, we can manage this code in the NGRFFX architecture so this code keeping this logic in the components so rather than keeping the logic in the components we can manage this code in the ngr ngrx fx architecture so how we can maintain this code let's try to see so for example traditionally how we will be trying to do is so here you will be injecting the store and you will be injecting the whatever the service you want you will be injecting the service so that means nothing but what we can say is in the component what we are trying to do on init we are trying to get the this dot post service dot get post get post means it will call to the what i can say uh, it will call to the external database to get all the post data and upon subscribing we got that we got we will we will be getting the post data and we will be dispatching an action to to load the post so we are dispatching an action this dot store dot dispatch we will dispatch an action so this is this is this is a wrong way or is a bad practice to use this type of architecture why because so we cannot call the HTTP and the store in the components as we want to keep them as a clean so now we are using ngrx architecture so we need to maintain this one as a components as a clean so what we need to do so now we we need to call it in the reducer another option what we have is we need to call it in the region we cannot also call the HTTP in the reducer why because as the reducer functions are the pure functions these are the reducer functions if you try to see in our uh, previous examples the reducer functions is just a pure function so we cannot inject the post service into the reducers as they are pure so because they are pure functions we cannot inject dependency injection we cannot do with your uh, post service and all those things to get the data okay so it is also if you if you try to inject also it is a bad practice to call the asynchronous calls in the reducer so the best place is to manage these side effects are the NGRSFS. So where we can manage these all side effects. So side effects means nothing but the HTTP calls and all those things. So we can use this NGRX FX library. Okay. Now what this NGRFX does? So what what is this NGRFX does? So we have seen this how what we can do, right? So what is this NGRFX does? NGRFX does nothing. It takes the action. FX takes the action. NGRX FX takes the action. Okay. First it will take the action does some work okay it will do some work whatever the work we, we we meant to do that means calling the http api call or anything so it will, and again dispatches a new action so again dispatches the new action this this dispatching a new action could be a success or a fail action okay so the http request when when we are doing some work 
the HTTP request may get success or sometimes may get failure. So that that could be that action could be either a success action or a fail action. So now what we'll try to do is let's try to see the ngrx diagram with the side effects taking into consideration. So up to now what we have did is so we have we have took only the ngrx mainly store diagram only. Now we will combine the ngrx fx library also combiningly we will try to see the ngrx store along with the effects. So if you go to the ngrx store diagram here. So if you try to see this ngrx store, so here what it will try to do is the component. So here is the component. We have a for example, let's assume we are designing the login form, right? So we have the email and password with us, and we need to call the action that is nothing but the login. Okay, so do the login. Okay, do the login. We are we will be trying to call here. So now what is this action will do? The action has a two two ways to entry. So either it can go to the red user. Or otherwise it can go to the effects okay so right now we need to do some side effects before going into the red user we need to call the HTTP service whether the login is valid or not if the login is valid and everything is there then we will get the token and that token we will send it we need to send it to the red user and that red user will store the data will store that state data uh, token data into the state so this is the action what we do so now calling the HTTP uh, calls and all those things is the fx fx functionality so that's why the component when it calls the login action it will not go to the red user it will go to the fx now what is what will this fx do it will it will go to the service it will call the service to the http api call whatever the call you want means it will call the api service and it will take the data and upon success it will call the success action okay it will call, it will throw success action it will call the success action and this success action what to do and that success action the fx will send the token data every data also it will send and this success action what it will do it will go to the red user and the red user will update the state and everything uh, it will take the old state and it will update with the new state and this updated new state will be sent through the selectors okay so this is how the diagram will be consi taking consideration into the ngr fx so when we will be using this ngr xfx is NGRS effects when we are doing some external yeah, so when we are performing some external task that involves that involves the task to be completed when an action is performing so we will be using this NGRF, NGRX effect so in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to Im, yeah, define the effects so how we can define the effects in the coding we will try to see in the next video so if you have any doubts or any suggestions Please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.